Okay, we're back now and we're going to uh, illustrate um, a photovoltaic cell and uh, the workings of the photovoltaic cell and how it's going to convert light energy into electrical energy. So we have here um, a solar cell, photovoltaic cell. We have a, a light bulb here, an incandescent light bulb. And so the distance here is about 15 centimeters or so. Uh, now we have an external resistor that we connected with the circuit and the external resistor is set to Okay, so I'll start from here. So we have an external resistor here and it's connected in series with the circuit. So we go from the solar cell to the resistor, from the resistor to the ammeter, and then ammeter back to here so we, uh, we complete the set. And then we put the voltage meter, the volt meter across the resistor or across the solar cell and we can measure the voltage that the solar cell is uh, giving. The resistor is set to 20 ohms so I could also change that. So in, if this was a lab, we would try out many, many factors. What kind of light bulb you have here? Does it change the result uh, depending on the light bulb? The distance, we would do distance as a, the energy as a function of distance. We would try out different resistors and we would see if that affects things. So I'll show you a couple of those things, but we're not gonna go too much into the details and do all the calculations. So right now you are seeing at about a distance of 15 or 20 centimeters, the current that is displayed is 19 milliamps. 19 milliamps. And the voltage that is displayed is 339, 340 millivolts. So about 0.3 volts. So we're getting out of this, we're getting about 0.3 volts. So if we want this to act like a battery, like a one volt battery, one and a half volt battery, we would have to have about five of these to act like a one volt battery. So, of course, it's not that efficient yet, but the technology is gonna get there. So now, if we want to try a couple other things out, we could put a green filter, see what the effect of that is. That's gonna allow the green light to go in. Now, the current went to 11 milliamps, and the voltage went to 198 millivolts. So the voltage dropped, and the current dropped a bit. And then when we put the blue filter, now the voltage went up. So the blue filter is allowing the blue, most of the blue light to go in, uh, to go through. So the voltage uh, went to 20, 220 millivolts, 220 millivolts, and the current went to 12 milliamps, so the current increased. So it looked like the blue light affected the solar cell more than the green. And then when we put the red, it even goes more up. So it goes almost as high as what it first, what we began with, 297 millivolts, 16.95 milliamps. So it went almost to its original state. So the red allows the most energy to be penetrated to the uh, photovoltaic cell. Then it's blue, then it's green. Now the other thing we could test is I could raise this roughly about 30 centimeters and you can see here 170 millivolts so the voltage goes down so of course if the light source is farther away it could go less of course it should go less and then the millivolt the milliamps 9 milliamps so if I go much much away now it's saying 40 uh, 45 millivolts so it dropped quite a bit. Now if I go close, let's see if I go as close as, let's see here. Now, now look at that. If you come up closer, you can see. Now I'm actually having it function as a 1.7 volt battery. It's giving me 1.7 volts and over here it's 96.4 milliamps. 
So it's delivering a, a current of 96 milliamps. If I want to increase the current, I could always change the resistance and increase the current. So you have now a very interesting uh, scenario here that you're converting light energy, and if you bring it close enough, it's acting like a good home battery. So this is going to be the, the energy, the, one of the sources of energy in the future.